What's going on YouTube, Gios right here. So in today's video we have some great news for those of you on Dopamine Jailbreak. The Jailbreak has received an important update that fixes a lot of things and makes the Jailbreak more stable too, so you should definitely update if you use the Jailbreak. We're gonna get into that in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So as you probably know, the Dopamine Jailbreak was released a couple of days ago officially. It was in development for a while. Initially called Fugu15 Max and then renamed to Dopamine, it's completely open source here on GitHub and it's now available over here on lkit.space slash dopamine. You can also grab it on our website, there is an article called Download Dopamine Jailbreak IPA. It basically supports A12 through A15 devices and M1 devices as well. You can install it via Troll Store or you can deploy it with Sideloadly and stuff like that. It's a rootless jailbreak that comes with Cilio and Zebra and it also comes with Procursus Bootstrap by default and it does support rootless tweaks which we're starting to get more and more and see more and more of those tweaks so it's a fully functional jailbreak that you can get right now but today we've got an update for it opa334 the main developer behind dopamine posted this quote dopamine 1.0.3 is now out as always you can update via the option inside the app starting in 1.0.3 this will also work when not jailbroken so the change log is available in here on github and it says version 1.0.3 the update was released three hours ago and it contains the following changes. It makes the jailbreak D or the jailbreak diamond more memory efficient and fixes some small memory leaks. It removes hacky way to disable JetSAM for jailbreak D. Maybe this fixes the spin lock panics but a further edit shows that it actually did not. And then the update option inside the dopamine app should now also work when the device is not jailbroken. iOS 15.0 to 15.3.1 it increases the delay after disabling Wi-Fi because some people claimed it would improve the success rate. So if you have the version 1.0.2 or if you're stuck with 1.0.1 or 1.0 you should definitely go ahead and grab the 1.0.3 right now and keep your jailbreak tool up to date. It fixes a lot of bugs, a lot of crashes, it does improve the stability of the tool and it fixes some memory leaks which tend to be pretty bad on some situations especially since they can produce panics and hang and the device can act slow due to that so you should definitely go ahead and update because it's a good idea. You can read more about dopamine jailbreak right here on our article article, what it supports, where it's coming from, whether it comes with CD or not and stuff like that. So definitely check the article in the links below, it also contains the IPA. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, peace out.